All right, so we got Nobody Wants to Die exclusive 10 minute gameplay. Let's get your video. James, would you love me if I had an ugly shell? Yeah. A shell like that one? Yeah. Would I love you if you had a guy's shell? That's your question? Or, or if I didn't have a shell at all? Is this is back? Is this back whenever they used to call uh, movies pictures? Hi, my name is Michal Napora, and I'm the community manager at Critical Hit Games. We are a small team based in Poland, and in today's Dev Diary, we're excited to show you a first look at the gameplay of Nobody um, Wants to Die. What is he doing? We have been working on the Nobody Wants to Die project for four years. From the very beginning. We wanted to create a narrative game, combining a cinematic, twist-filled story with intriguing mechanics and gameplay that creates the most immersive experience possible. Where did the girl go? All units, code 305. Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. What should I say? Critical hit games. Okay. So this is not an old game? Well, no, bro. Look at the windshield wipers, bro. Kara, how you feeling? Ready to get back in the saddle, chief. I hear the Never mind. This is a futuristic type of game. I said old I game. Hi, Manhattan. Yeah. So unofficially, I'm all ears. Be doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every test and commission out there. Wow, this looks good. I will say that this looks Here really we good. We see a very key moment in the story when our character James Cara, a hard boiled police detective, gets an under the table job. And as okay. support, he's assigned a young, ambitious liaison officer named Sarah. Sarah, no, fuck that. No way, forget it, chief. You're right. already on the line. James, Sarah Kai. Sarah, James Carr. Hi, Sarah. Fuck that. No way. Forget it, Chief. Oh, they Look, both don't I like each other. Said. You're a goddamn departmental legend. Legend, huh? Uh, well, okay. More like cautionary tale. Wait, is that Sarah? I don't mean to be Shit. mean. Oh my lord. What's going on right here? Damn. Oh wow. They really got cooked, didn't he? What is wrong with you? Have some oh, respect. I'm up on Green. Holy fuck, you know who this guy is? Green's been shaking down the city for 200 years. Oh wow. This was supposed to be an accident. Oh wait, this game was different. Let's pull the right and get out of here. This Green gameplay is a little different. I like powerful it. figure in this world order. He held a huge amount of influence over the last 200 years. A titan of the privileged top 1%. Oh, so now, okay. The Icarites melted. So, that's his insurer's problem. Is that problem. a fly? Sarah, he's dead. Sarah, have some like, respect. You mean final death? Dead? Yes. Well, just, I, I mean, fix it. Just reconstruct it or something. Just do something, James. What is wrong Omega with this girl? One one two three five eight suspected murder. I mean, was it was that not? Okay. Oh, he's doing the Batman thing. It's where he'll figure out what happened. That's what Batman does. This is an extremely rare case of final death. Ikarat is a technological advancement that stores human consciousness allowing it to be transferred between bodies or stored in a memory bank. The man took their conscience and now he's going, he's playing it back like a video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new. Oh, I am in deep, deep shit. Look, he's hanging from a fucking tree. Sarah. Oh, we can see that. This, I've seen this before. Up close. Take a few deep breaths. Uh-oh. Then we'll start looking for who did it. Uh-oh. We have to report this. We okay, have so to. Anything beyond that? It, it's. He's looking underground. I'm, uh -oh. I'm sorry. What's that? Sarah. What's that? Relax. No, 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 no. What is that? Anything. Got it? You're not even here. 
So I'm guessing something blown up and a guy Have like you noticed how badly our liaison Sarah wants us to get out of there. Yeah. And she's kind of right, given our current state. This case could be our reckoning. Despite the differences that divide them, they can only count on each other. Okay. Got a nice pocket watch. I need to find the source. Wait. Okay. There's a blood trail here. Kara. Oh, what are you no. doing? A detective on probation who didn't quite synchronize with his new body. Work is like a drug for James Kara. It is okay. all that he has left. It's the only thing that can keep quiet the demons of the past that haunt him, even if it's just for a very short moment. Awesome. Not surprisingly, when everyone tries to sweep the case under the rug, James won't do it. Yeah. He is the least fit for the job, but by the fact that he has nothing to lose, probably the only one who dares to take it on his own. This was a murder, Chief, not an accident. I'm a hundred percent sure. But it's just an Icarite pole, I thought. Surely Kara can't buck up something that simple. I'm trying to tell you, there's no Icarite to pull. Green's got oxidized. It's a homicide. And it's staring us in the face, like it or not. Whatever. The feds are on their way there, so consider this a heads up. Bro, it's always they the feds, bro. I don't fucking know you. Oh, that, well, that's blood. Blood type B. Hey, comment down below. What's you guys' blood type? Oh, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Now this is okay. our most important gadget, one that no doubt every detective will dream of having. After entering enough data, the reconstructor allows us to reconstruct the events at the crime scene and see fragments man took of what Batman's whole superpower. Eyes. This allows us to step into the shoes of a detective and experience the investigation together. There's something here. Uh oh. James, What's that sound? I've lost visual. Oh no, that snake is moving. Brother, that snake is moving. Brother, that's brother, that snake is moving. James. Will you come back to me? James! Oh he lo oh Sarah. Oh, he's gonna be having you know flashbacks of his really wife and stuff. For my first subscription. Now, the problem is that the bodies are not artificially produced and belong to the government. Every citizen over the age of 21 pays an annual subscription to use their body. And if they what? can't afford it, the Icarite is ripped out and sent to the memory bank while their body ends up at a government auction. Whoa, you can't own your own body? Huh, didn't they have wings? Horses? Bro, you no, gotta pay rent for your body, bro? That's ridiculous. Nature has died out as of religion and most cultural beliefs, allowing the past to fall into oblivion. Not because oh, something wow. terrible happened or because we decided to cut it off, just because we, as humans, focused on fighting to prolong our own existence. What the fuck is this? A bike. A bike. Or rather, a wheel off a bike. And people rode on it? Yes. How? Like a motorcycle, but you had to push those things around and around. Yeah, we actually had. To yeah, it it was, yeah, it was used for uh, for exercise and travel. Nobody wants to die. Y'all have that? Layered narrative, inspiring deeper existential reflections. Bro, I don't know what a bike is. That's and horrible. The setting seemed the best natural fit for such a narrative. Graphically, the visions of the future and the aesthetics of the 1930s seemed like a very oh, interesting combination secret. for us. This artistic vision it beautifully conveyed the rawness of the creative world. Man's in a whole another wanted to pull me into a maze, get me drunk with fear. But I had nothing to lose, and had been drunk already for a week. We're inspired by such classics as Blade Runner, the works of Raymond Chandler, and the Black Mirror series. As well as narrative games such as What Remains of Edith Finch and Firewatch. Wait, that's it? Okay, I. Oh wow! Oh wow! So it's basically, so you're so a detective. Took this job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust-laced wounds. And what's up with this guy's attitude? 
We really hope that you like what we have prepared for you today. Oh now, man, this is so oh man, game, and you'll be able to do that very very soon. Nobody wants to die. It will launch digitally on PlayStation Five, Xbox, and PC on July seventeenth. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. July seventeenth. We'll see you soon. Wait, that's in five days. All right, man. We got nobody wants to die. I believe I uh, actually like reacted to this trailer. I think last year, and it's finally actually coming out in five days. Now, uh, a couple of things actually. Um, here's the thing, right? I don't know if it was just me. Maybe you, like some of you guys could like try to see it, but this game definitely it reminded me of um of the game that came out last year. It was called Atomic Heart. Um, I don't know if it. I think like um. For like it's futuristic because at first I'm thinking, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. At first I'm thinking, okay, cool, we, we bro, we're in like the 1930s, like, like looking at like the car setup or whatever, um, and, and and stuff like this, bro. I thought they were like watching a movie. I thought they were like you know watching the pictures or something, because <laughs> like back then they used to call movies pictures back then. So I'm thinking, okay, cool, it's like the 1920s or whatever. The girls in the car, and then this man just started having a a, a whole like he started having like a whole seizure right there. I'm like, bro, what's going on? Um, all right, so. I, I kind of got like an like an atomic heart feeling from this. I think graphically it, it was like a little bit of like a like atomic heart for me. Um, but one thing that definitely threw me off um, was definitely like the whole thing of like, okay, bro, once you turn twenty one, you gotta like uh, rent your body. Like what? So you telling me wait wait wait? So you telling me for twenty one years my body gets to grow and mature and do all that? You know, for twenty one years, and then I have to start paying rent on the body. So wait, 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 wait. so I gotta like wait wait. I got to put my money on a money order and then like give it to the government. Like I, what, that's what I got to do. I got to do that every single month. I, bro, bro, I got to pay rent on my body. That's absolutely ridiculous. As a, bro, as a matter of fact, bro, I can't lie to you, bro. Bro, somebody going to have to fight me for my body, bro. There's no shot. And then if, if bro, if you don't pay for it, they take out the they take out the memory card and they store that, but then like, you know, they sell your body. That's ridiculous, bro. That's absolutely ridiculous, but that sounds really fun though because um, like that sounds really fun for the story because it has like a little bit like controversy and stuff like that. So um, this game was definitely this game definitely takes place um, in the future. I thought it took place in like the 1920s or whatever, uh, based off like the first 30 seconds. Turns out, bro, he didn't know what a bike was. He said, "Bro, you, humans used to really ride." That. <laughs> yes, bro, it was a bike. What are y'all, bro? I I'm sorry, we're not in like you know 1920 convertibles that can. That have like they have a radio, a TV, and they have like you know, uh, cough syrup in the front. That have all types of like, you know gadgets. And I'm sorry that we're not in Batmobiles, but yeah, we had bikes growing up. So, um, in reality, bro, I think uh, graphically it looks really nice. The story might actually get fun though. That's the thing. The story might actually get fun. Um, I didn't even know we play as a detective or something like that. I wasn't even expected that. I think last year. I think last year I said that I really liked the, like how the trailer looked graphically, but I was not even expecting us to play as a detective, and we got to work with um, another like rookie detective or something like that. Um, but it turns out that that's what we got to do. And I also learned a little bit about this guy right here. It turns out he's uh, he's obsessed with his work uh, because that's the only thing that he has. He doesn't have. I'm guessing that girl that just popped up right here. One more second. I'm guess uh, I guess the girl that just popped up out of nowhere whenever he grabbed the snake thing. I'm guessing that was his wife, and you know he lost her. Uh, we've seen her two times in, in this video already, so I think that I think she probably like passed away. That's when he, you know, he probably getting like he probably keeps getting like uh, flashbacks of her and stuff like that. So um, comment down below, man. What do you guys think it's about? Uh, nobody wants to die. Um, comes out the 17th, so you know, hey, listen, we're definitely gonna see um, like, some cutscenes and stuff like that. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely interested um, cause it's been like a year since I've seen like the actual like you know trailer go on. So. I'm kind of interested in it. And comment down below, man. What do you guys think about it? Like the video. Switch like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys out of this mouth. And.